Back in their Gryffindor common room, Harry, Ron and Hermione talked about their exciting first days at Hogwarts. There was much talk about the break-in at Gringotts Wizard Bank. But there was little time to dwell on this, since Harry and his friends were expected at their flying lesson with Madame Hooch. And yet neither Ron nor Hermione seem to be present at this lesson with Harry. I am your instructor, Madame Hooch. For your first lesson, you will fly through these magic rings. Control your broom with the direction keys. Apparently I can fuck around with the broom before starting. Why do you get off? You're just getting back on again. Potter, on my whistle then. Well done, Mr. Potter. The only reason I'm doing this well at flying in the first place is because I played this far into the game during testing, had unlocked broomstick practice from the main menu, and used that for some further recording and general Windows 7 compatibility tests. So this was another part of the gameplay I sort of spoiled for myself before doing all of the recording for real. The earlier test flights would have been funnier, because I didn't invert the up and down arrow keys yet, I kept slamming into walls and missed many more rings than I am right now. Right there. I must have barely brushed the edge of that ring's perimeter because I could have sworn that I missed it. So these flying lessons are quite generous in terms of what potentially counts as a completed ring. God fucking damn it, you always have to turn around and get the ring you missed before you can continue on, so more time is lost. I could have sworn that I missed that one, oh, but apparently I really did miss the next one. Good thing the rings down the line don't open up until you clear the preceding one, or you'd never know what's going on with your score. Watch yourself, Mr. Potter. Yeah, there were way more head-on collisions and- Fuck! Scraping the wall earlier, before now. Fortunately, the moving rings just barely seem to move slightly up and down, so it's not too much harder than before. Holy fuck, I could have torn off a scrotum flying that close to those spires. Always keep an eye on the next two. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make the time limit. Well, what the fuck just opened up? I don't have time to explore, damn it. I'm just three away from a perfect score. Mr. Potter, 15 points for Gryffindor. From now on, you may practice flying at any time. You will find the option. And Harry's like. Uh. Time for your charms lesson now. Good day, Mr. Potter. Okay, thanks. They were just standing there motionless this whole time. Oh, gotta get more beans. Gotta do that. At least you can pretty much rapid-fire your spells at the same object. It's a bit slower in the Prisoner of Azkaban game that I recorded before all this. Have you met Hagrid? He's so large, I can scarcely see the top of his head. Which head? You're early for the lesson, Harry. But I'll teach you a new spell I've learned on my own. The spell I learned is Alahamora. It will open magically lock things, but don't get into any mischief. It's like you suspect that I'm going to be a troublemaker already. Why are we even so close right from the get-go anyways? That doesn't happen in the book or movie. 
Now it feels like I'm just welding my way through a door using a blowtorch, leaving behind a trail of red-hot glowing metal or something. Is it really necessary to yell out your incantation so loudly? I'm, I'm sure the wand would hear you if you spoke in a whisper or at least a normal inside voice. What do you mean Flitwick would award me 10 house points? I see that Gryffindor lion emblem coming down with my score as if this series of exercises was changing it in some way. Hermione, a student, no, a first year student, can just add points to her own house if she does private lessons with her friends now? That's excellent, Harry. Professor Flitwick would be very pleased with that attempt, Harry. I'm sure he'd give you 15 house points. Practice makes perfect, so give it another go. Holy shit, did I get it right? Stop fucking yelling, Harry! So she's definitely adding house points herself. She just gave her own house 50 points. Holy shit. Now you try using Alhamora. We still have a few minutes before the charms lesson. That door in front of you is magically locked. Cast Alhamora to open it. Alhamora! You couldn't have moved off to the side to avoid casting a spell through her own head. You've got it. Now, can you find the two secrets in this room? Try the bookcase. It wasn't fucking finished yet, you twat. How does Harry know that he's storing those cards away rather than accidentally destroying them? You're not even watching me, you just have your back turned. If you're done admiring yourself, Harry, take a look at that magical chest. Wait, what was the point of the mirror? Cast Alahamora to unlock it. Okay, you don't want any of the free stuff though? Cool, more for me. But anyways, I guess that wasn't the mirror of Arizid. Arizid? Arizid? Or there would have been more to that sequence. We'll see if we revisit this mirror, run into a different mirror, or if the mirror of Arisid just shows up in this game at all. Charms class is through this door. Yeah, I I figured. Thanks. Wow, he still won't sit too close to her. Flitwick, and today you will learn the levitation spell Wingardium Leviosa. Professor Flitwick looks like Observe the correct fucking Leviosa thing one or thing two from the Cat in the Hat, but with silver hair all over his face instead of the top of his head. Well, at least this pattern is all straight lines, so I should be able to complete all attempts. How the fuck did I not get past 90%, let alone 80%? Good work, Mr. Potter, but you still have room to improve. Five points for Gryffindor. See, he was gonna give out house points anyways. Not that I'm complaining about Hermione's blessing, of course. Can you imagine what it would be like if the actors in the movie yelled out their incantations that enthusiastically and with that much extra inflection? Uh, 
I can't believe how difficult it is to draw a straight line with a mouse, now that I'm thinking about it. Great, Mr. Potter. Fifteen points for Gryffindor. Let's continue with the lesson, Mr. Potter. Well, I already fucked that up with the first stroke. How unfortunate. You nearly had it that time, Mr. Potter. Well, no wonder it didn't work. You didn't scream the incantation at the top of your lungs. You may now enter the Wingardium Leviosa challenge to practice the spell. Follow me, Mr. Potter. Cast Wingardium Leviosa on that statue, then move it onto that large plate. Wingardium Leviosa! See, you didn't have to say it so loudly. And that cubic block of statue weighs more than Dudley, and you were still able to move it. By the way, in the movie, they practiced the spell on feathers initially. Here, they're starting you out on basically a metric ton of rock or something. At least I won't have a shortage of beans anytime soon. Not these fucking things again. I lost like a dozen beans last time. And sometimes they even pant like dogs when running towards you. It's weird. Look at them just sitting there with their mouths hanging open. I wonder what the other students are doing right now. They don't get to collect all these beans. Those bookshelves are about your height. You can't just reach up there and grab the bean, Harry. It's easier for you to physically climb up there, pick it up, and then jump back off again. I think I'm spending more time collecting beans in class than I'm actually spending learning or practicing anything. How many massive cauldrons does this school spend money on just to store a few beans inside? I see you back there. I'm ready. You're not getting away, fucker. Seriously, fuck these spells that don't work. Wait, how fucking stupid am I? I still fucking missed! Ah, oh, god damn. Of course that pillar only slides to the side to reveal an area on the wall. It's like trying to push a door that's labeled pull or vice versa. Although why does it still have to have the Lependo symbol on presumably all four sides then? I even forgot the other one. And shut the fuck up you deformed dirt stained gummy bears. Great, I just gotta move the blocks over to the buttons and... <sighs> Who the fuck knows what's beyond the next door? Probably something that might kill me. Well, that's interesting. You already figured out how to cast a spell without needing to say the incantation out loud. And yet you can't move anything more than ten feet away from you. Are you fucking serious? You're shitting me. You are literally pushing me out of Uranus right now. You walked three feet closer and now you can't move the block more than seven feet away from you? There! There we fucking go. Now try to do the next one in one shot. Yeah, halfway between the block and the button is a good idea. Okay, so having that corner of the wall partially blocking me didn't hurt in any way, that's good. <sighs> Jesus Christ, fucking shut up! No oh, neat view. I suppose I have to jump across platforms that will kill me if I fall off. Again with the limited range, why is there... Why is there a strobing effect from my wand reflecting on the stone archway now? 
I mean, I can understand having some limit, but 10 feet or less just seems like overkill. Or perhaps underkill, if that's a word. Great. I have to wait for it to come back. Just like when you miss a green traffic light and have to sit through the red one until you can go. You know, magic would allow society to have perpetual motion machines with unlimited energy. Kind of selfish not to share that power with the muggle world. It's not like the magic emits greenhouse gases or anything. I wonder how high up I am. Another side chamber. Okay, these can't all be the Mirror of Arezid, so I wonder what the point of this is. Nintendo. Oh, I see, another challenge star. Totally worth it, then. I was honestly expecting more beans, somehow. I wonder why there wasn't a part of the lesson where you had to use Wingardium Leviosa to build yourself a staircase to get over a wall that was too high to climb. That would have been a little different. I keep feeling like I need to back up just to make sure I get a proper running jump. Hurry before it gets too far away. Good, you made it. Whoa. Don't fall and break your wand. Congratulations, Mr. Potter. You completed the challenge. You've collected several challenge stars. That's ten I didn't get them all. Now, off you go. He just walked right off the table. Where's he going? Is he going to jump his way backwards through the course instead of walking out the exit with me? Presumably the exit leads back to the classroom, right? And I thought I was done with the course. Why do I need to do this to get out of here? Oh, okay then. I guess if I just walk to that door, it will open itself automatically. Thank God. I want to stop playing soon and take a break. It's been nearly 40 minutes. I actually played through episodes 1 and 2 in a single go. Figured there was a good breaking point in the middle to split them up, and also I don't necessarily know when certain cutscenes and lessons are going to be triggered, and I'd rather not stop in the middle of something. There's not going to be a time limit, right? Oh well, too bad. Gotta collect more beans for who knows what. Oh right, cards. I just don't know what Fred and George have planned. I can't get up there? But this whole bookshelf looks like something that you're supposed to climb up. Oh, okay. Why the fuck didn't I think to try Alohomora? I'm fucking stupid sometimes. Also, I'm obviously not recording my voice on the game at the same time. Fucking peeves. So he got two hits in on me and my first strike didn't even work. I've lost nearly half of my life bar at this point. Am I seriously going to have this much trouble hitting him all the time? I like the noise he makes when you do actually hit him, though. He sounds so disappointed. So... What? He just leaves? 
three gates came down. Only one way to go now. I just struggle with the idea that you can't break those. It looks like the frog left a smog of fart gas behind, too. I guess Alohomora only works on certain kinds of doors and locks. I wonder if it would open an electronic lock from the Muggle world. Hey Harry, do you have 25 beans for us? We need the beans for some... <clears throat> experiments. As a matter of fact, I do. Be grateful, collecting these beans was probably the least interesting aspect of this video. It's a wizard card then. Hope you don't have this one yet. Thanks for helping us out, Harry. Oh man, I didn't think to try it, but I wonder if I could have thrown one of the, those stone blocks off the side of the castle during the Wingardium Leviosa lesson. I bet the game wouldn't let me get away with that, probably due to a magical invisible force field known as collision detection. So, oh, so there is a time limit. Fuck. Hey, Potter, do you like surprises? Malfoy's got a present for you. I hope it's a phantom power supply. I was too cheap to buy one. Slytherins don't like Gryffindors. So... I'm not getting a present? <laughs> oh my god, listen to that laugh. Now, on the one hand, the game doesn't suggest th that there's a timer running for getting to class on time, but on the other hand, it totally makes sense that one would lose house points for being late, but I have no idea where I'm even going. Oh, so that base is breakable. Oh, good, a save book. Excellent. I'm done with this. <laughs> 